Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. Now the M Power Fascia, we've already done a video in fact on this particular product if you recall, but uh, you know sometimes I like to give it to Chris and in his capable hands he likes to go and take a closer look at it. So right now we're going to go across to Chris and let's take an in-depth overview of the Fascia M Power from SoundOff. Well, thank you, Stuart, and thank you for joining me on SirenNet Television. From Sound Off Signal, we have their all new M Power Fascia LED light headline. It comes in a wonderful new compound that Sound Off has partnered up with Dow Corning to produce. So it is a clear duty optical lens that basically offers a squish compound. So it's actually a soft lens and soft optic internally. So what this allows this all new light headline to do is basically be impact resistant. So when it comes to light heads, we have seen polycarbonate lenses, very durable, hold up very well. When it comes to the Dow Corning compound here, this is going to make these light heads very resistant when it comes to small debris. So with that sand and gravel, so you're not going to see any scratching or pitting in these lenses. So these are ideal for DOT service trucks that are seeing a lot of action when it comes to chemicals, sand and gravel. But that aside, for any other application, these are ideal to use. They're available in three convenient mounting options. We have a stud mount version of the M-Power Fascia. So on the back here, two bolt extensions to add these onto the vehicle. So with that, you're not going to see any holes. So this will be very flush, very compact, virtually mounted anywhere. For those of you needing to do something where you have some tabs for mounting, so again, a surface mount or adding this to some brackets of your choosing on the exterior or interior of your vehicle, this is the second option. So you can see here, just simple little extensions on the side here. Also, center exit wiring harness. The third is the simplest option of the fascias to mount. It has a wonderful double-sided adhesive on the back, so couldn't be simpler. So center exit wiring harness. So this is all you're gonna have to worry about when it comes to doing a hole on the vehicle if you're wanting to do so. Peel off the adhesive, go ahead, mount it on the appropriate place. Just make sure to get it positioned nice and right so it goes on on the first try, and it will stay there for years to come. As you can see with these light heads, it is a lengthy pigtail to get your installation started, and there is a total of five trigger wires. So when it comes to these light heads, you have the ability to tie them into your sound off or other manufacturers, siren and lighting controller, and you can do lead, ground tie-in, so general voltage. There is a flash pattern change wire. So when it comes to these, they're available in different color configurations. You have a six diode single color, 12 diode dual color and a 18 for a tri-color. So flash patterns are going to vary in the single and duals total of 12 patterns in the tri-color total of 14. But same wire to use to change those. You can also synchronize these light heads amongst each other or have them work with other sound off signal sync to products such as Enforce or Enforce Fit. So a neat way to make these work with other existing products. You also then have a secondary wire which will allow you to activate a second function. So in the case of these light heads using a white, you can steady burn it for illumination. Or in the case of single colors, you can activate a low glow cruise mode. So really nice and convenient there. With these light heads, taking a close look on the inside, you can see a nice wonderful spacing with those internal optics again from Dow Corning. So in this case here, we have a 12 diode. It's hard to see, but there is a total of 12 compact LEDs in there interwoven to create a nice full dual color footprint. Taking a look at the internals, again, it's very close up on the surface mount with the tabs. This happens to be filled with 18 diodes. So six of each color, full intensity fill. And moving over here to the adhesive mount, the six diode single colored version. 
So when it comes to these light heads and wanting to go over the technical specs and ordering details, part numbers are going to adjust, of course, based on one of the three options that you're picking, and the colors will adjust as well. So again, for color configurations, take a look at the drop-down menu. Also, for those of you curious, SoundOff does have wonderful product specs to go along with these. So again, highlighting the wiring harness, how it'll tie into your controller, how you'll program these, how you'll do the sync function, and tidbits on the installation side. So what I'm going to do now is put power to these, light them up, let you take a look. So we'll start at this end here with the stud mount in a dual color, amber and white flashing away very nice and brightly. And with the optics inside, very nice and bright head on, but they also have a really nice off access hue to them as well. So again, ideal for lighting up the exterior of your vehicle. In this case here, amber and white, by tying in the secondary trigger wire to a positive 12 volts, illuminates to white. So a really nice secondary function for you to be able to take advantage. So one light head, two different modes. Switching over to the center, this is our tri-color variant here, so red, blue, and white. Adjusting flash patterns, easy to do, so we'll grab the white wire, momentarily apply it to a ground source, and that'll make a pattern adjustment for you. You can go ahead, do this process upon the initial installation, or for those of you wanting convenience, pattern change on the fly, you can add a momentary switch to do so. With this, when you activate the secondary mode wire, again, positive 12 volts, overrides to steady burn white. So with that, you can activate scene lighting on the interior or exterior of your vehicle, something that I am planning to do with these when it comes to push bumper installations, doing a set on the front, set on the side, that way warning colors, very nice and bright when responding, but then you can tie the white in so you can have a front auxiliary scene light and side alley lights as well. So some really trick stuff you can do with these if you're just planning out your vehicle, forecasting all the different things you wanna do. Moving over here to the single color, I'll go ahead, switch my pigtails over. Again, tying this into your controller, ground here, and positive 12 volts to the red and red only trigger wire. And that's gonna put it into the warning mode. So here again, six diodes flashing away very nice and brightly. Can adjust the flash patterns on the fly. Again, a total of 12 in this single color. Just go through a couple more here. And when it comes to the secondary mode in the single colors, we can activate the red with white, and that is going to put it into a low glow cruise mode. So a nice way to add some extra lighting to your vehicle to identify it when it's needed. So you can have your lights working for you when they're not on and flashing away. But in the case of wanting to light up the vehicle, carry on with what you're doing, go ahead and activate the other wire, back to flashing mode it will go. So there you have it, a look at the brand new Sound Off Signal M Power Fascia product line. We're very proud to be offering this to you here through SirenNet. If you have any questions on these or for placing orders, again, take a look at the product page we have for you or let us know, give us a call, send us an email. I'm Chris, thank you very much for joining me here. Back to you, Stuart. There you have it, the M Power Fascia available here on SirenNet, made of course by SoundOff, great manufacturer indeed, manufactured in the US, which is always nice to hear as well. So I'm Stuart, you've been watching SirenNet Television, and as always, many thanks for watching.